This is the Namur's jellyfish. At 2 meters in diameter and 200 kilograms, full-size adults are roughly the same size and weight of a washing machine. This is one of the largest species of jellyfish. Namar's jellyfish normally reside in the Yellow Sea off the coast of China. Due to change in salinity of the water from natural rainfall, can flow through the Tsushima Strait in larval stage and bloom off the coast of Japan. Up until 2005, Namaru's jellyfish invaded every 20 to 40 years. Now the blooms seem to show up every year. And this is a big problem. Fishers and fisheries are practically crippled by blooms and every year lose billions of yen. The jellyfish not only causes direct damage to the industry by feeding on fish stocks in the Sea of Japan, but also by clogging the fish's nets. One incident in 2009 had an entire 11-ton fishing vessel, the Daiasan Shinsho Maru, completely capsized. The three crewmen were thrown from the ship as they tried to raise a net containing dozens of boulder-sized jellyfish. All three crewmen survived, but this served as somewhat of a whistleblow in the 15,000 annual reports of jellyfish-related damages. Since the recent increase in blooms, many have found the best way to combat these blooms is to convert them from pests to resources. Some look to use them as fertilizer additive, since they seem to have a weed growth inhibitor. Some turn to medicine, such as treating joints affected by osteoarthritis. Others make ice cream. The Tango Jersey Company in Japan has come up with a chewy vanilla ice cream, soaking the Medusa in milk overnight and added to ice cream as cubes. Still today, more uses are being discovered to utilize these invasive blooms.